How's it going, folks? Hope you're all doing well. What What can you say? The last twenty four hours has been an absolute migraine. Migraine. Looking at social media, looking at how pissed off Celtic fans are after losing in the third round of qualifiers to Cluj at home. It's embarrassing. It was probably one of the worst performances I've seen in the team. Defensive performance I've seen of Celtic in a long, long time. Maybe we've gone back to the Moby days, you could say. Um, it's just, attacking wise, we are very good. It's just horrible. Like, look, a lot of people are calling for Neil Lennon to be sacked. Walk out. I don't think so. I think, obviously, you give him a year contract, let him do the role in the year. Our objectives is to win the league. I know our objectives is to go on and qualify for the Champions League and get the 30 million, but the, the squad's not strong enough. It's not strong enough. Attacking boys were strong. Defensively, we're not strong. Scott Bain was a phenomenal keeper last season. This season, he has dropped. He has dropped in form boys. I still love him as a keeper, but I think it's time to settle the rust and bring in Gordon again. I think Gordon has proved it in big Champions League games, Europa League games, that he can be a present in that goal and be confident. The only thing I, I would say bad about Craig Gordon is his distribution of the ball. It's not great. It's not great at all, but great shot stopper, great corners, great just holding himself in that goal as a goalkeeper. So um, I think it's time he needs to come back in. Playing Callum McGregor left back was probably one of the worst tactical decisions I've ever seen in football. He's not a left back. He's a flexible player. He can play in the wing. He can play in the centre mid, defensive mid, attacking mid. But he's not a defender. He's not a defender. That's not his A game. That's not his speciality. He's not a defender. It killed us. They be, they destroyed us on the wings. They literally... Like people are slating Scott Brown. Saying Scott Brown should never play for Celtic again. He's not good enough. He should get his shit together and leave the club. Disgraceful behaviour absolutely disgraceful this lad has won nearly over 18 honours for the club and he gets treated like this it's like people need to wake up and smell the coffee seriously like slating a captain probably one of the greatest ever captains that has captained this club that's probably captain in Scottish football maybe British football and people are slating him for having a few bad games get the fuck like honestly I love Bruni I'll always back Bruni fair enough he wasn't great last night. He put his hand up and he admitted it, that the handball decision, the performance of the boys wasn't good enough. I'm sure they're aching as much as we are. It's been a rough week. I'm not coming on to moan about how bad we were. I'm just coming on to state the facts that we need to move on quick. We need to get this 48 hours hangover, a pain out of our system. Let's move on. Like, I couldn't even think today. I thought we were playing Hearts on Saturday. I realised it was done for Emlyn in the cup. Like, that's how bad it took. I was just, just, just going through the social media last night. Like, like, Facebook, like, people, like, quick enough to jump on the bandwagon. Blame this player, blame that player. At the end of the day, it's a team performance. They just weren't good enough. Look, at, if we did qualify last night, would you beat that Slavia Prague the way we played in recent times in European competitions? When it comes to the crunch games, the playoff games, like last season, AK Athens, Maribor, Malmo, I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. Like I just, I just think, my honest opinion. I know people are gonna laugh at this, but I just think we should not take Europe serious in the next two years. I know financially we need to, but we need to clinch this ten in a row. There's no point sitting back for the last eight years singing, "Here we go, ten in a row." And look like spas if you don't get it. It's not water. It's not water whatsoever. Um, my honest opinion about getting destroyed against Sheriff or AIK, AIK, sorry, AIK of Sweden is a worth it. Is a worth sacrificing, qualifying for the Europa League, playing Thursday games, coming back, play catch up on the on the Sunday, regardless if Rangers are giving us a title challenge. However, it's still, the squad is not good enough. The squad is, defensively, is not good enough to deal well in these games, especially chasing a travel. I just don't think we, we have it in us. I know we've done it in previous seasons, don't get me wrong, but this is a new season. It's more new faces. Mentality levels, they have dropped. 
you've dropped. You could see it the boys last night. Poor Ora was frustrated. It's just it's been a, it's been a horrible week. It's been a horrible week as a Celtic fan. It's been a roller coaster of a week. Like losing Kieran to Arsenal. Basically, the money that has been given from Arsenal to Kier- from for Kieran's fee, it's gone down the drain. To basically parachute covers for the Champions League loss. That's what it is. Realistically, looking at it, like I can't see that squad being invested like one or two big faces before I one or two familiar faces that's going to be brought in before like the fourth of September. It's absolutely gutting. It's good to say. I'm not going to fill you with negativity, but that's what's going on at the moment. I'm back in Neil Lennon to do it. I'm really I'm back in Neil Lennon. I'm not backing the board. I'm backing Lenny to do this. I think Lenny will deliver nine in a row. I don't know about cups, as I said before. I know we're going to deliver nine in a row. It's going to be very, very challenging this season. It's not going to be a walk in the park. There is going to be games where the Lenny patrols out, slating Neil Lennon, slating his tactics, what the way we've done it, way we've done it last night. But look, at European standards, we're not good enough. We're past it in Scotland in domestic level but we're just not at that level where we should be European standards we, we shouldn't be playing qualifiers this early and as much as we can make excuses but we shouldn't be like the likes of English Premier League fourth fourth place tour place automatic qualification it's gone that bad now in Scotland where you have to play eight games to even sniff a bit of Champions League sniff even a bit of Champions League team music for a playoff round it's ridiculous it's ridiculous to be honest it should be what he's called about but it's down to the ratings of Scottish football as well it's gone to the dogs it really has gone to the dogs like but you gotta hold on have faith in your team regardless of we're playing Ross County regardless of we're playing St Mirren it's a game that we have to take serious it's a game that we have to get three points to maintain this Scottish league maintain getting this nine in a row so but as I said, I gladly accept it. I gladly put my hand up. I know a lot. We don't want to see Celtic losing, but in this circumstances, what's had to happen? I gladly not take European Europa League football this season because it's crucial to get this league. I know last season we done it. As I said, we done it. We got to the group and so and got to the knockout stages. But this season, no, I just. I'd rather play playing the card safe and have that comfortable cushion of okay, we're playing a Saturday three o'clock game, then or we're coming back on a Sunday or so. But I don't want to repeat myself about it. But Dunfermline on the weekend, Betfred Cup, basically it's a defence of the cups, the domestic cups. I would do a lot of changes. I think a lot of people need to come in, show they want to play for the badge. I think the players need to be resting. He, if he is gonna consider taking this Europa League game if it's Sheriff or AIK serious I'd rest a few players first of all I'd bring Craig Gordon in as I said already bring him in good shot stopper we need a bit of senior presence in that squad people being more comfortable Scott Bain the other night just was not at it was not at it he pulled off a good few saves but rebounds even there was a free kick that was hitting that and he kicked it kicked it out like like Sunday League football Scott as much as I love you but wearing great wearing great at all but um, as I said I don't want to keep pointing fingers at certain players it's a team that just weren't good enough at, on the night especially in Celtic Park which is not good enough I play Ralston right back um, Ralston obviously young enthusiastic wants to get into this senior squad obviously Al Hamid was, was, wasn't bad last night he wasn't bad fair enough he should have been defending more better at the back post and so but as I said, team, a team. So um, Rolson, I'd, I'd, I'd bring in, I'd bring in Samidovic. I know he played last night, he wasn't great. I'd bring Samidovic into that squad against Dunfermline. Julian, I looked at a clip today of the Motherwell game where Neil Lennon at the end went out to graduate the players and he just tipped Julian. So I don't know if there's a few out there. I don't want to shit store and say there is or there isn't, but I'd bring Julian in. He's our record signing as a defender we need to bring him in get comfortable with the squad show show Celtic fans he's a winner he can do it so yeah I'd bring him in 
Um, left back, obviously, Bongoli um, still has a lot to prove to the fans. A lot of people are considering calling him as a bomb. He's not good enough in this crack. End of the day, bring him in, prove the trolls wrong, prove them, prove them wrong because I don't want to criticise players. I want to, I want to compliment players. I want to show that this team has went on and won nine trophies in the last three years. Remarkable bit of history, and we want to keep continuing winning trophies. If it's just a league or a league cup or a treble, we want to continue this mentality that we are the most successful team in Scotland. There's no 55, there's no 54 titles. This monarchy, as they want to say, what they want to think it is, it's not true. And we all know it. Sefco, Tesco, whatever. But Bongoli in there, Beaton, bring him in, senior president. Beaton has been bad this season. Bring him in, let Bruni rest. I think Bruni needs to have a weekend off. Um, Beaton, Nicham, Nicham was very good last night. Thought he played very well. I was very impressed with Nicham. Even tracking back was quite good. Um, I need him in there with Chavez, Sinclair, Christie and Boyle. The reason why I'm saying Boyle is because we bought this lad and he hasn't played much games. He came on last night for the last like three or four minutes. Like waste of tactics. Like Griffiths could be playing tomorrow or Griffiths could play on Saturday. You know? Or Boyle. Sinclair needs a Sinclair needs a go. Like we didn't get rid of him in the tr- in the this window. To England, so just let him, let him play as much football. Underrated footballer, phenomenal. His fourth season, second season was good. Third season wasn't bad. Just let him, at least get ten goals this season and a few assists. We'll be happy. I'll we'll be happy with that. He has still has a lot to contribute to the squad. So I bring him in, and um, Chevette. As I said, there's another one where he's not getting much game time. Dealt injuries and so on. But bring him in, let him have a go. But that's really it for me. Um, just wanted that kind of express what I think of the whole situation last night obviously it's a shambles it's embarrassing that 60,000 60, seat stadium won't be in the Champions League again this season for the second season in a row a hurts a hurts big time but we need to move on as I said the league is the priority it has been since the, the ball's been kicked off so we need to focus on that and it feels like we have wasted obviously six games playing European competition so we'll see how we get on anyway in the next couple of days and good luck to the boys against Dunfermline I'm predicting regardless if it's a strong team or a weak team I think we'll edge past anyway once we can progress into the next round and look to win the League Cup before Quimbo it'll be good times as well and obviously maintain the league that form as well so look at the positive side is James Forrest scored last night Edward scored last night, Christy scored last night, and we've scored 12 goals in the last two domestic games as well. So we have to keep the positive up. We are Celtic supporters. Shit, shit storm hits. We have to back the team, not select the team. Back them. We're going to do nine in a row. But enjoy the video, folks. I hope you enjoyed the 14 minutes. 14 minutes of ra- um, absolute ranting. But enjoy it. I just want to say um, thanks very much to a team in Germany, a Sunday league team called Celtic Worms for the jersey, absolutely class the Umbro days you know but um, yeah, cheers, thanks very much hell hell, and speak to us all soon don't forget to subscribe to that button don't be sham <laughs>